Tokyo has arrived. Hey everybody, I hope you all are having a great week. I wasn't even going to do this today. There's like so much shit going on this week. Like, there's a bunch of stuff that I wanted to, um, to cover. I was thinking maybe I'd do a video about the whole like Arizona abortion thing. That was, that was going to be the video tonight. Then Project Liberal dropped some like grade A cringe. And we have like Biden talking about how his, um, uncle was eaten by cannibals like there's a lot of stuff that could have been covered um but this dropped and, and this i think kind of came first i i think i think dunking on time magazine and just shitting on them kind of has to come first by uh by definition but but project liberal was posting like let me see if the twitter's working some of the single, like, worst stuff they've ever put out. So, they we're going to have to take another shot at them. Like, um, we're going to have to take another look at them at some point. Because they, they're getting worse over time. The, the cringe that is Project Liberal is getting worse. We'll get into time in a minute. I'm just giving people some time to start up. Uh, let's see here. female pathology why we need more women in mentoring and leadership roles because affirmative action is part of it uh let's see here where is this uh i forget does he hate oh yeah so they're saying Millet. i'm just trying to find the uh they had something that was so bad it actually like physically hurt my brain here we go housing is too expensive here is a solution i don't want solutions i want to blame capitalism well i mean you can blame capitalism for unlimited open door immigration i mean that is like a, a capitalist thing and that is probably the primary thing at least in canada driving housing prices but it's like yeah it's just i, I don't know if, if we were just all yimby then we'd be like china and we'd have a um like, I like in, I think it was uh, Deus Ex Human Revolution. Like, when you go to China, China literally has one city built on top of a second city. Like, that's how bad it was. Um, okay, uh, let's see. There is, there's one that was, like, the single, I think, most delusional one they've, they've posted. Um, okay, that one was pretty bad. Where is it? Did they take it down? Maybe they took it down. It was so bad. Uh, they might have taken it down. Uh, this one was pretty funny. Here we go. Okay. This is this is one of the... No, I, I don't think they hate Millet. Um... Okay, so a history of right-wing moral panic in the U.S. 1990s, Satanists are coming for your, for your kids. 2000s, Muslims are coming for your kids. 2010s, gay people are coming for your kids. 2020s, trans people are coming for your kids. Yeah, but like those all happened. Maybe the Satanist one didn't, but like you had rape gangs in Europe. Like that's not a like even arguable. Maybe it didn't happen in the U.S. to quite the same level. Uh, you also had the vans for peace and stuff like that. I, I mean, like in Canada, at least, they take away kids from their parents and cut their dicks off and pump them full of synthetic hormones. So it's, um, did you, like, <laughs> okay. This is their flex. This is like their genius um, 40 chess whatever plan it is. So that happened. We'll start the actual show in a minute. Uh, Biden said that his uncle got eaten by cannibals, which is like one of the few Kino things Biden's ever said. So, um, so Biden claimed that his uncle uh, vanished after crashing the area of New Guinea with cannibals. So he claims that um, the cannibals ate his uh, his uncle. Which is kind of based, to be honest. Like, so apparently this whole story he just completely made up, and that's not what happened, and that's not what the military said. I like to think that cannibals ate his uncle because, frankly, that's way cooler than him just dying in a crash. 
So that's like one of the few cool things Biden's ever said. Like at least this gets a Freddy as producing something like interesting. Something interesting and fun is coming out of his schizophrenia. Then again, this is Biden, so it might be his dead uncles, like, talking to him from beyond the grave or something like that. Let's see, what else is there? Uh-huh. Oh yeah, I should include this in, um, you know what, I was going to do ECU tomorrow. What I need to do is I need to um, come up with a name for my show that'll just kind of be the compilation show if I decide to do one for a week. Like if there's just been enough stuff to cover. Because um, it's been mostly Ukraine stuff with kind of some other geopolitical stuff thrown in. But honestly, I, I kind of feel like... Um, yeah, I should maybe just rename it to something a bit more uh, general. So I'll have to come up with a name for that um, at some point in time. Uh, I, I could call it... No, no, but it was going to be include stuff other than the UCU. So like uh, stuff in America, stuff in the third world, uh, random stories. I could call it Argent's pan EV co-prosperity sphere or something like that. We'll see. Um, well, just one more before we get into uh, the time thing. So this is like, this is one of the most big brain takes I've ever seen. It occupied Mariupol. Russia's rebuild is erasing Ukrainian identity and any um, uh, evidence of war crimes. So like the criticism is Russia is rebuilding Mariupol and they're fixing the damage they caused. And that's that's the that's the criticism. Like there, it's it's a cover up. It's it's like the Holocaust. It's it's like covering up. That's well, that's what it's supposed to be. It's like it's like the Russia rebuilding Mariupol is like the Holocaust. You know what? We're we're just gonna take a slight detour. We're gonna just take a, a little field trip. Um, we're gonna take a little tree field trip. probably abuses people to see like what i have on my front page like what is it we have like john mersheimer mre starcraft uh random ambient music uh let's see here rebuilding area pole so or did they get rid did they take his channel down so there's a guy on youtube called um uh, rebuilding Mariupol. So I think he was pro-Ukrainian, and then uh, he... Did they take his channel down? Maybe they did. Uh... Maybe they did take his channel down. Or they're just, or they're just censoring him. Don't, don't. We'll, we'll get started in a second. I just, um, I just kind of wanted to videos from Mary. There we go. I think this is it. Yeah. So, uh, there was the video. They were showing the videos of uh, what the so Russia rebuilt a whole bunch of different um, apartment buildings. Uh, so let's just look at them because I was actually kind of shocked uh, to be honest what they looked like um, so we're just going to take a quick look at this so this is what the uh, this is what the new apartment buildings look like Russia re somehow built all of these in like two to three months I don't know like how they were able to do that when we can't build these in like two to three decades in Canada but like I'm sure people are going to say this is like third worldy, but honestly, this looks pretty nice. Like I, I've seen way worse shit than this, like way worse in Toronto, in downtown to Toronto. 
This is way less shitty than where I used to live in Toronto. Okay, so there's an elevator. Okay, so here's here's what the um the horrible mass produced commie blocks look like. Like to be honest, once again, I this actually looks better than like probably what I can afford, honestly. And I don't even make bad money. Uh, by Canadian standards, these aren't bad at all. I don't know, like... That's about the size of my bedroom. Uh, that's, that's about the size of my living room, maybe a little bigger. Uh, that's bigger than my kitchen. Uh, that's substantially larger than my kitchen. Uh, there's a balcony? I don't know. Like, in Toronto, this would probably be, like, 400000 to, like, $800,000. Like, it's small, it's compact, but honestly, this is far from the worst thing I've seen. I, I've, I've seen, like, way, way worse than this. And I'm not even, like, poor or anything. Like, I'm not even... I, I'm not even looking at, like, the shittiest places. My big issue is they don't have a washing... A dishwasher, but... Um... Yeah. Now, this I thought was kind of weird. Um... Apparently, though, this is common outside of North America. To have the toilet in a separate room from the bathtub and shower. Um... So this looks really weird to me, but apparently this is common, like, in Japan and stuff. Uh, I've never seen that in North America, but... So it's just kind of a different thing. It's because they're Euro-poor. They don't have dishwashers. Okay, I mean... Once again, it's, like, it's not great, but... Um, like compared to a lot of this shit that I've seen, even now I'm looking to like buy a place here. Um, this would probably be about a hundred and sixty to one hundred eighty thousand dollars for one of these, like Canadian. I don't know what that would be in USD. So like they uh they're not like amazing or anything, but for something that was put up in two months and that they gave to people, um, I don't know. Anyways, so that, this wanted to do that just because I thought that that was interesting as I was going through. So, uh, we are going to take a look now at Time Magazine's. 100 most influential people so i'm going to keep a running tally and there's going to be there's going to be two there's going to be two people i know and people who make sense okay so the, t the two tallies are going to be this there's going to be one tally if i actually recognize someone on this list and there's going to be another tally if i think they actually deserve to be on this list so let's go through let's see like now, someone can correct me if I'm wrong, because I might be wrong. Does time have some sort of policy at not having people on it multiple years? Because if they if they don't allow people to be on it, like, more than once every five years, then I get why, like, she and Putin and a bunch of people like that are not allowed to be on the list. Like, but if that's not the case, then this is, this is bad. I haven't actually looked through this all yet. I just did a couple searches. I'm pretty sure Putin is on it. Okay, so let's see here. Dupa, Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa. Who the fuck is Dua Lipa? Musical Dreams into Action. She introduced her song Houdini with an image of a small key on the tip of her tongue. One can easily imagine her holding a ring of such keys, the master of her ever-evolving kingdom. Okay, I, I've never heard of her before. This will also show you how out of touch I am with stuff. I, I've never heard of her. Okay. Well, for those of you in the chat who have heard of her, does she deserve to be one of the most 100 
influential people in the world. Um, is she one of the most 100 influential? I'll let people say that. Dev Patel. Someone I actually fucking recognize, so uh, it's going to get a point for that. Uh, is he is he one of the most one one of the one hundred most influential people in the world? Eh. It's it's not the it's not the worst. I guess he's a fairly uh, influential person. I guess he's like not the least well-known actor. It's it's not. I'm trying to be like okay. By the way, guys, I'm just gonna tell you now. I'm gonna be ultra generous. If I've even heard of one of these people and they start in like something major, then they're gonna like get a point. Twenty one Savage. Who the fuck is Twenty One Savage? Newest album, American Dream. Twenty One maintains. Uh, which opens with a reflection by his mother on their immigration story. I wonder why he's on this list. His approach to rap is refreshingly genuine. He speaks to us in a relatable way, effortlessly navigating the complexities of the genre. Okay, I have no idea who this dude is. Okay, so there we go. Uh, Ali Bot. Um... I have no idea who this is either. She is one of the le world's leading actors admired for her work in the Indian film industry. Um, okay, so maybe she is... Okay, I don't know. So to be fair for some of these people, if they're in like other countries, like they're Chinese or um, uh, Indian or Brazilian or from some other major country, and I just don't like... Um, know who they are like if she is like the single biggest actress in indian cinema then maybe she belongs on this list but i can't really attest to that because i don't know anything about indian cinema like if like if for instance they had the best rated like news anchor in china on this list that would make sense but i don't know who they are so because i don't listen to chinese news jenny holzer who? Okay. She, the rants that exemplified the predicament we faced in New York City, uh, in the in late nineteen in late seventies. Her words expanded to include poems, redacted government texts, and layers of internationally renowned writers. Layered words. Her show in the Guggen. Okay, well that's a bad sign. If you have a show in the Guggenheim, that's, like, a really bad sign. Um, okay, I, I have to tell you something cringe. So, my parents are going to go to Spain. And Spain is awesome. That was one of the, the best trips I ever went. I had so much fun going to Spain. But they want to go to Bilbao. Now, they want to go to Bilbao because they want to see the Guggenheim in Spain. Like, why would you go to Spain to go to the Guggenheim? I was on a tour, and um, we stopped in Bilbao for the night. Um, we stopped at, uh, the Guggenheim, or we stopped at Bilbao and like most of the people went to the Guggenheim and then there was like the Basque National Museum of Art. So I went to that instead. The Guggenheim is basically hell. Um, it is the fucking like, okay, Guggenheim. So this is the Guggenheim. Um... And that's the Guggenheim and Bilbao. That's what my parents really want to go see, is this. Um, it, it looks like a toilet, honestly. And the, the supposed art within it is, like, the most postmodern, like... Anyways, I'm getting completely off topic. Coleman Domingo. No idea who this guy is. Uh, I've never heard of him. Devine Joe Randall. I'm I'm noticing a trend here. I'm noticing a certain a certain couple of demographics. I guess if we count Albanians as being white, then I guess we've had one white person so far. Um, so that's that's something at least. Or I don't even know what she is. Okay, so Coleman Domingo. I have no idea who that is. What is this? 
What is this thing? Preview of Ghost the Musical. The ease with which she existed on the stage and the power she commanded the room was unbelievable because they were afraid that she was going to jump on them. She was exceptional. Um, her performance in the holdovers was balletic, just so deliberate and crafted. She approaches her characters with the kind of sincerity, honesty, and nuance that makes me proud to be an actor. Who the fuck even nominated this? It says who nominated this person somewhere. By Uzu Abdua. I don't even know who that is. Okay, so I've recognized one person on this list so far. Lauren Groff. Who? Her novels would have been enough. Okay, so she was in The Matrix. I don't remember her from The Matrix. Was she in, like, the, um, the Matrix, like, the new Matrix, maybe? Is that why she's on the list? Wait a minute, she was nominated by Pratchett? Oh. Oh, he's such a... I, oh, no, oh, no, that's Anne Pratchett, not... Terry Pratchett. Okay, I don't know who she is. Uh, Jeffrey Wright. Um, okay, he was in Shaft. He's in Angels in America. He was in The Hunger Games. I almost recognize him from The Hunger Games. What did he win an Oscar for? Let's 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 do some investigation. This sounds vaguely familiar. I'm not sure like who this dude is though. Uh, what are what are the movies that he's been in? Um, I'm just seeing if there's any of these that I recognize. Oh, okay. oh, that's where he's from. Okay, he was. Okay, I know who he is now. Right. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna put that down as another person under someone I actually recognize. Okay, he was he was Commissioner Gordon, the Batman. And he was in No Time to Die. He was in the, the Bond reboot. Okay. Okay. Somebody I actually recognize. Okay. Well, that's... Does he deserve to be on this list? Uh, no. Okay. Fantasia Barino. Sounds like kind of like Gran Torino. Oh! Oh, jeez. Oh. I'm sorry. I should put a trigger warning on these. Oh. Oh, those tattoos. Oh. Those zoomed in feet. Like just oh oh okay, I actually I actually threw up a little in my mouth there. There's something about it was her spirit or soul. She left it all on the stage when she sang, and I thought, who is this girl? I voted for her again and again. I still don't know who this person is. Uh she's a cancer. Okay, we're gonna get into astrology. I have no idea who this person is. Okay. Leslie Odom Jr. Oh, he was Aaron Burr in Hamilton, that musical I refused to watch. Okay. Uh, why are, like, half these people from Hamilton? My parents wanted... My parents were like, do you want to go see Hamilton? I'm like, fuck no. They're like, why don't you want to go see Hamilton? And I was just like, you don't want me to answer that question, okay? You don't want to answer... The last... I think the last actual play I saw in theaters was a couple of years ago I was in uh, Constantine Martelli for five dollars all these people have tremendously influenced my life for the worst uh, probably the last time I saw a stage show I was in Britain I was in London and I saw a performance of Phantom of the Opera because I love Phantom of the Opera I was in London I'll go see a Phantom of the Opera in London it was close between that and Les Mis if I went back again, I'd say I'd see Light Miz probably. Uh, I I don't know who this person is. They're apparently like a documentary filmmaker, a healer. So she's like that's her RPG class. She's like a cleric or something. Alex Edelman. Uh, can I get a physiognomy check? Can, can I get a physiognomy check on this guy? Like, I don't like what I'm seeing here. I just... It's, it's rough, man. Uh, this, 
that when his tour de force just for us about racist white nationalist internet trolling and anti-Semitism landed on Broadway earlier this year, it was lauded as one of the funniest, most human pieces of work in years. Okay, I don't think there's any question. Let's just, let's just confirm. I was from an Orthodox Jewish school. How could I have guessed that? But I don't know, guys. Like, I'm just looking at this physiognomy here. Uh, I would not want to live, leave my kids. Okay. Press 1 in the chat if you would leave your kids alone with this dude. Press 2 in the chat if you would not leave your kids alone with this dude under any circumstances. Okay. James McBride. That name actually sounds familiar. Um, uh... I I actually I who is this guy? The name sounds vaguely familiar. Um well, he wears a beret, so that automatically makes him really sus. Let's see here. The color of water, a black man's tribute to his white mother. Of course. It has to be like everything about these people is about race. Like once again, I don't, I don't get it. It's, it's like with land acknowledgements and stuff. Like so, your entire culture is just celebrating like how much you suck is basically what it is. Brooks, Brooks Headley. He is the embodiment of the Japanese shokukin, a singularly dedicated, innovative, authentic craftsman. Commitment to ethics in food stability. What? Who the fuck is this? A musician and chef? He left. He opened a vegetarian burger restaurant called Superior Superiority Burger. Hardcore emo band. Chef. Who the fuck are these people? Like. Where do these weirdos even come from? Like, who are these people? <laughs> like, half the people in this this list have been space muted so far. Like, like we got this. We got we got this guy who looks like I I don't even know. Fuck. Okay, icons. Taraji P Henson. Okay, let's see. Who is this? Um, okay, so she's an actress. Okay. Look, guys, she's thick. I mean, it's... Okay, I guess that's that's what we have. I don't... I don't... Like, who is this person? Okay, let's see. Because maybe, maybe, like, I've seen these people. I just don't know who they are. Um... Okay, what what has she been in? Uh Oh, she was in the Karate Kid remake. The Karate Kid one with um with uh uh whatever his name is, uh with Will Smith's son. Yeah, that's that was Oh, she was in that shitty movie, Benjamin Button. I guess I remember some of these. Like, these are all, like, B or C tier movies. I Okay, so I, I never heard of her, but at least I'd heard of some of the movies she was in. Kylie Minong. Now, I have heard of her. I just don't really know much about her. So, her name is familiar. I've just never listened to any of her music. So uh, I'll put it here, because um, I actually know, I've actually heard of her. I don't know. Is she, like, one of the world's most 100 influential people? Uh, we have Elliot Page. So uh, we're, th I'm going to add that to someone. You know what? I'm going to I'm gonna say we live in a society. I'm going to put this in the top 100. Because I, I think that Ellen Page is is actually one of the most influential people in the world. 
And that just shows how fucked we are. You know what? Maybe maybe these are the most influential people in the world. Maybe these are like maybe this like this sussy as fuck guy with the pedo eyes. Um maybe he, maybe that is who people listen to. They just look into those eyes and they say, I want to give you my kid. Uh burn a boy. Burn a boy. Okay. The Afrobeat artist to sing at the Grammys. Like, okay, I like this. So they basically, they made up a genre of music called Afrobeats. And then they're like, well, he's the first one to um, to make it to uh, the Grammys with his, his fucking retarded made up music. Like, I could make up like Argent Core. Like, I could make up RG, R RG Wave. And then if I won an award for it, then I'd be the first person ever to win an award for it. It's just like, who cares? Okay, Michael J. Fox, someone I actually recognize. Okay, here we go. Um, is he, though? Maybe during, like, the, the 90s or, or 40s, I'd put him up there. Yeah. I, um, I don't know. I don't get why he's on this list. It's someone I've actually heard of. If this was, like, once again, 1990s or 1980s, like, when Family Ties were on or whatever, then, or whatever the show he was in was, that would actually kind of make sense. Okay, so that's not a, a horrible one. Thelma Golden. Uh, Thelma's I. I don't know who this is. If some, once again, um, if, if people in the chat have heard of any of these people, let me know, because uh, I I don't know. My taste in music is really bad. Like it's it's like a combination of soundtrack music, like stuff from animes, uh, some metal, and ambient ambient stuff. Sophia Coppola. Okay, well, someone I've actually fucking heard of. Um, okay, Sophia Coppola. So she's actually a um, made a number of movies. Uh, let's see. Has she done anything lately, though? Sophia Coppola is really weird looking. Uh, let's see. What has she made lately? Was Priscilla a big movie? No, it wasn't. Um, I don't know. Did anyone see any of these movies? Fairyland? What's wrong, Rain? No, you aren't on the list. You should have been on the list. Okay, like, she hasn't done anything, like, relevant in years. I don't even know, like, what this shit is. Okay, so, uh, we're just, oh, acting roles. Let's see, what has she been in? She was in The Phantom Menace? What? I, I don't want to waste my time on this shit. Uh, Jenny Hermoso. What? What is that? Is that a, is that a tranny? Uh, President of the Spanish Football Federation grabbed her face and kissed her. Millions of us watching live on television knew it was wrong too. What? Banned for three. Okay, so. The National Soccer Participant Safety Task Force. That sounds like something in a fucking communist state. Okay, I don't even know what that is. But she, she's... It, it is like... it's a, Okay, let me see here. Okay, we're going to take a little... Um, we're going to take a little side trip here. Oh! 
Austin, I'd like you to meet somebody. This is my mother, Mrs. Exposition. How do you do? Hey! Oh! Austin! Oh! My God, man, what have you done? That's not your mother, it's a man, baby! Oh! Yeah! Oh! Yeah! Come on! No! Why won't oh! this wig Get come out! <laughs> In the face of death threats and intimidation of lost jobs and lost friends, uh, as one of the few out gay people in Uganda, he found, in, as a college student, he founded Icebreakers Uganda to support people coming out to their families. Oh, it's it's a uh, it's another U.S. National Endowment for Democracy funded uh, funded organization. Um. Sexual minorities, Uganda. I'm sure that um, that once again is a completely organic. So Georgia just passed a law that requires organizations that have get a majority of their funding um, from uh, foreign governments to register and to post that on their like websites. So they had a massive. Um, like so so basically Washington paid like tens of thousands of people to go and try to storm the Georgian parliament to to prevent this law from being passed because it would basically reveal that all of the um NGOs were funded by the state department uh they did this in a uh, in uh Kyrgyzstan actually and it led them like kicking out like all the NGOs cuz it turned out they were all funded by Soros okay who is this Mat Mat Matza, who? Okay, he's a Palestinian photographer. Uh. Okay, maybe I don't know anything about him, so I, I can't really do that. Uh. Okay, we have. Who? First and only female wrestler to win the Olympic medal. Okay. Um. Okay, maybe she's important somewhere. I don't know. Mark Cuban. Mark Cuban's on this list. Well, he age is not done. Can I get a physiognomy check on Mark Cuban? He's gone from being kind of Chad looking to just being okay. You know what? I, I will give it to them. I mean, Mark Cuban is actually someone who's like wealthy and powerful. So we're going to give him a spot on people who make sense. You know what? Once again, I'm doing this based on like something logical. Like if, if it's based on reality, then yeah, this guy probably is in the top 100. Uh, Hayao Miyazaki. What? Someone logical on this list? Okay, well, Miyazaki is gonna, um, is gonna say yes, and I'm gonna say people make sense. He is one of the most influential, uh, animation directors of all time. He is an international icon. Um, that, that makes sense. 100% that one's fine. That makes sense to me. Go ahead. Okay, Susan Simard, the author of Finding the Mother Tree. That is the most G-slur thing I think I've ever seen. Her TED Talks have been viewed more than 10 million times. I like how that's the big number. Like, 10 million is, like, the biggest number ever. Well, I guess it's more than 6 million, so. The trees Simard teaches us are talking. It's our job to start listening. Like... Okay, everybody earmuff the kids. Why do they have to make preserving the environment sound so fucking gay? Like, I, I want to preserve the environment. I want to promote reforestation. Why do we have to have this, like, trees communicate via vast network of fungi? Uh, like, I don't know. I don't know what this thing is. Juliani Lusengi. Demo okay, so some person from Congo. C 
co-founded an NGO. Wow, I um, there seems to be a lot of people who co-founded who founded NGOs with um, funding from the National Endowment of Democracy. You know, sometime we should do a stream where we go to the National Endowment for Democracy's um, website and try to see um, and take a look at that rabbit hole because they apparently post a lot of this shit. <coughs> Women are the first victims of war, but they only but only they hold the unique key to peace. Have like I always have have any of these people ever seen how women interact with each other? Like uh, uh, women are really fucking nasty to each other. Rosanna Flammer Caldera. I don't even know what that is. Oh, okay. It's another gay rights person. Uh, it's it's another one, uh, a, a lawmaker. Um... Okay, so uh, yeah, there. Um, it is it is someone from uh, Sri Lanka who is the head of an NGO that was funded by probably the National Endowment for Democracy, uh, who basically manipulated the. Um, National Endowment for Democracy to force uh, homosexuality legalization in Sri Lanka. Okay, that's cool. Titans. Is that a human? Is that an android? Is that a robot? Like, what is this? Patrick Mahones. That name sounds familiar. Is that Taylor? No, or who is that? Who is Patrick Mahomes? Is that Taylor Swift's boyfriend? I can't or I, I actually don't know. No. Okay, I actually don't know who he is. Okay, it looks like he's like a big time football player. So, um... I don't know. Maybe he is influential. I don't watch football. Uh, so I'll just put him on the make sense least to be... Because maybe he is a really big guy. Have we had a single, like, white heterosexual? I guess I guess Michael J. Fox. Michael J. Fox is heterosexual, right? I, I don't know. <laughs> maybe. Uh, Aja Wilson. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, it's so... Ugh. It's, it hurts. Inspiration for everybody. Wow, she was... Um, Women's National Basketball Association Championships. A sport that everybody is a, um, a big fan of. Lots of people. Lots of people are... are... Okay, let's see. That's, uh, that's good. Uh, we have Kelly Ripa. I don't know who this is either. Um, what is this show? News Anchor. I, I don't know who this is. Does anyone there know what this is? I, I don't, I don't know. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to pass. Uh, Jack Antonoff. Okay, let's see. I'm not sure. I'm getting a bit of a physiognomy. Okay, so. Uh, okay, when we're tracking fingernail percussion, getting existential, or doing some good old seal, soul healing gossiping, I always leave our sessions with a new outlook. That's a bad sign if it starts off with um, soul healing gossiping. But it's his own artistry that he glows. Let's see if he does glow. That name sounds like it glows to me. Yes! It does glow! It does glow. Oh, is literally, like, a, so far a majority of the white people on this list are members of the tribe. <coughs> um. Okay, who is this? 
I, I don't know who this people is. Brown Ducket. Launching Advancing Black Pathways. I don't know. I've never heard of this person either. Donna Langley. Hmm. I'm... Okay, I'm gonna... I, I just... I, I need to know. I need to know. Uh, is she? No, okay. Well, that's something, I guess. Let's see here. Um... A uh, theoretical physicist, Oppenheimer. Okay, so apparently she was like. Uh, who? Who is this person? Uh, production executive from New Line Cinema. Uh, okay, you know what? Fair enough. These are a lot of actually big movies, so I will, um, I'll give them one for her. That uh, seems like someone who's actually important. Beth Ford. Uh. Oh, she was the one, okay, so apparently she's the one who, um, uh, Like took the the farm to table movement. Does anyone remember? There's that guy in um, Pennsylvania. I think it is. Oh, I forget his name. If someone knows his name, he's like an Amish guy who runs his like special club that you have to be part of to buy his stuff. And he sells like organic like food that he grows himself, and it's like the best food that you'll ever eat in your life. And like recently, they shut him down. Uh, for whatever reason, I can't remember who it is, but that happened uh, recently, so I don't know who this is either. Um, Wang Chao Fu. Uh, okay. Okay, so a big Chinese industrialist. Okay, that's uh, I'll give them a point for that. I not I haven't heard of him. But that sounds like someone who is legitimately important. So I'll give them a point for that. Kelly Robinson. Uh, taking the uh, LGBTQ movement. I'm seeing a pattern here. And the larger social justice movement by storm. Uh, okay. I also just wanted to say, is the president and CEO of GLAAD. I wanted to say something like the other day I was I was watching something and I have to say I'm kind of jealous of women because the only women's health issue is abortion. Women don't have any other health problems than abortion, which I think is kind of interesting. It kind of makes me jealous they did, that they don't get cancer or anything. Uh, OK, Japanese sociologist. Um even as the government uh, persecutes feminists. Okay, so it's another uh, person uh, funded by the CIA. Like, is this... Is this, like, the top 100 most influential people? Or is this, like, the, the employee of the month list for the last year or two from the State Department? Just Jesper Broden... I have no idea who that is. Larry Ellison. Has there been a single conservative person on this list? Uh, just, or, or, or non-liberal, like even just like po a political person. Has there been a single apolitical person on this list? I don't. Oracle. Oracle sounds familiar. Uh, okay, AI. Okay, I think I'll go with that. Uh, apparently that's important. That sounds like, um, I think Oracle is really big. Uh, I'm sorry, I that probably is something I should know, but I don't. Joanne, what is that? Fashion retail. Um...
Yeah, okay, I think I've heard of Oracle. That is something I just, I'm not that familiar with it. I'm sure that is actually something, though. See, I'm willing to admit when I don't know something that I should know. Uh, Oracle Multinational. Okay, yeah, wow. Yeah, okay, that 100% makes... Oh, no, Larry Elsa. No, I know who that is. No, I remember him now. Okay, I remember him now. Okay. All right, I remember him. I don't know who that is. I don't know if that's a man or a woman or what that thing is. Uh, Max for Stappen. Um... He's a race car driver? I don't know. I'm going to be super generous and just put him on the list. Okay, if he's like the number one race car driver of all time, uh, then I guess, I guess, okay. Oh, yeah, Navalny. Yes, Yulia Navalny is on this list. The, the, the death of, uh, what's his name? I can't even remember his name, Alexander Navalny. It's his wife. She's on this list. Putin is not on this list. Uh, Lavrov is on this list. Is not on this list. Shoigu is not on this list. Lushenko is not. Xi Jinping is not on this list. Lula is not on this list. Um, Modi, I'm pretty sure, is on this list. But this this person, this, this wife of the... Um, one of the uh, the American government's um, many glowies who was attempting regime change in Russia. Um, she's on this list. She's on this list. Uh, how, oh, oh, this must be the like the token the token one. Okay, okay. Actually, a couple of these look all right. Let's just go back up. Okay. I'm getting kind of excited. I'm getting kind of excited. Uh, there's there's some people I actually recognize now. Uh, okay, some random person from Iraq. Some random feminist. Donald Tusk. You know what? Donald Tusk, maybe. I'll put that. Donald Tusk is, is a RG Award nominee for Gamer of the Year. Because he's just gone crazy as the new leader of Poland. He's just, like, purging and shutting down media and stuff like that. He's kind of like the Polish Macron, from my understanding. So, okay, that's... I actually knew who that person was. Um, William Lai. Taiwan's next president. I kind of doubt that... Um, that election was fully legitimate. You know what? I, I I will say that that makes sense um, because Taiwan is pretty important. It could lead to World War Three, so I think that that's justified me on the list. Uh, Greg Abbott. Uh, okay, so uh, people I know. Yeah, I'd say I'd say he makes sense. Greg Abbott, Abbott is literally destroying like the largest cities in America single handedly. He is also a nomination nominee for Gamer of the Year. Marina Silva. Once again, if we had a um, if there was a rule stated that people couldn't be on this list more than once every five years. That, I think, would make sense. Um, but uh, they don't say that. Okay, it's some, some climate activist. William Burns. Oh, it's Mr. Burns. CIA director William Burns. We'll add him to, to the list. We'll add him to the list. Okay. Oh... Uh... The head of Me Too. I I don't know who this person is. The name sounds vaguely familiar. 
author and journalist. Oh, it's this person. It's this fucking, I don't know, like, Ciesler? Kaysler? Okay, I'm going to call her a K. She's the Kaysler. She's, she's the Kaysler. Um, you know what? She does make sense because she might get Trump uh, disqualified for running for president. Um, <clears throat> so uh, she is the Kaysler. And I think you can all guess what the Kaysler is. I don't want to say the Kaysler out loud anymore because it is it is like a, a an anti white racial slur, but she is the Kaysler. Uh oh another human rights activist. I don't know who this person is either. The president and chair of Mission Blue, another State Department. Uh, Javier Mele? No, guys, come on. You know what the case slur is. It's an anti-white racial slur. Yes. Yes, anti-annihilator has got it. Uh, Javier Mele? Yeah, I think that's a perfectly good pick. Uh, he is very influential. Um, his whole time in um, Argentina is going to kind of be seen as an experiment because he's doing things that no one's done really before. So it'll be kind of cool to see uh, what happened after he's done. So uh, Millet, definitely good. Uh, Ferdinand Bong Bong Marcos, the president of the Philippines. Okay, I'll put him on the list. Philippines is a big country, so that's fine. Uh, MBS. Is that MB? No, that's not MBS. He just have. Oh no, no. Sorry, I'm I'm tripping. Uh, the Prince of Cutter. Uh, that's okay. Uh, I'll say that's fine. That's fine. Cutter is like the main financer of Hamas, I think. So. Elise Stefanik, that name is familiar. The highest ranking woman in the House GOP uh, to fully embrace Donald Trump. Oh, right. Okay, I know who she is. She is a um, thought of being a uh, potential a running mate for Trump. I don't think she's in the top 100, but at least I've heard of her. Diane Salazar Mendez. Uh, the youngest person at 42 to serve and the first black woman to serve as Ecuador's top in law. For law for Let's see. What percentage of Ecuador is black? Let's just take a look. at. So they always say the first black, but let's see if there's even any black people in Ecuador. I don't know if there is. Maybe there is. I, I, I kind of. Okay. Ecuador is 5% black. So it's, it's discrimination that they haven't had one um, before now. Uh, even though they're like an irrelevant minority. Uh, now, if they were the first indigenous, if they were the first Amerindian to be the head, then like that might make sense. But who? Jack Smith. Jack Smith. Special Consul. Uh, two different prosecutors of former President Donald Trump. Uh, okay. So we'll, we'll say that. Okay, we'll we'll give him we'll give him that. Yet another person who's trying to, like, you know what I should have done? I should have done, like, the, um, the glowy, like, to go through and just see what percentage of these people, uh, glow, like the sun. Rachel Gold, Goldberg, Poland. Um... Oh, it's an advocate of the hostages and their families. It's it's like we have to kill more Palestinians. Okay. That's the person we have there. AJ Banga. Uh, okay, World Bank's president. Okay, I'll I'll say that that is like actually a um that's a logical person to have on this list, so I'll give them that. Gavin Newsom, is he our first 
he might be like the second or third heterosexual white male. There was like there was an amazing SmackDown I saw on um, Twitter a week or so ago. So Gavin Newsom posted a clip of Charlie Kirk, and Charlie Kirk said that um, birth control pills cause cancer, and if there's a woman in your family who's on them, you should tell them to get off the birth control pills. So Gavin Newsom was like, "See, the Republicans want to control what you put in your body. They're fascists." And if you go through the list, literally all the comments, including from liberals, were like, no, but birth control pills do cause cancer. And there's like all these women, like even liberal women who are like, no, I, I took birth control uh, picks for um, pills for decades and it, it fucked me up. And there's all these liberals who are like, yeah, I know it fucked up people in my family. And it was just all people shitting on him. So uh, is Gavin Newsom one of the top 100 most important people? I don't think so. They're just, like, he's so astroturfed. William Ruto. Kenyan President William Ruto. Uh, I don't know. I don't know who he is. Uh, Georgia Maloney. I like how she's on this list for, for cucking on the, um the issues she remains popular not only in italy where she enjoys a um 41 percent approval rating i like how that's considered high like that's the the highest um like that's considered a good approval rating uh she's abandoned her maloney hasn't abandoned her right-wing politics completely at home where government has pursued policies that critics say Quietly erode LGBTQ rights. B -b -b based. Uh, okay, to keep would be immigrants from setting off. Okay. okay. So we have Maloney. But Maloney's like a puppet. Like, she's just a puppet of the EU. So, no, she's not going to get. Um, she's not going to be on this list because she doesn't have power. Lee Quing. Um, who is this? Oh, okay, the premier of China. Okay, that's fine. That makes sense. Okay, that's good. Uh, Jigar Shah. Director of the U.S. Department of Energy's Loan Program Office. Overseeing more than $200 billion in loans to bring energy innovation to the market. That sounds like the biggest cesspool of corruption and payouts. And like, because you know 10% of that's going to go to the big guy. But honestly... He probably uh, controls like half of. Um, I mean, I'm gonna. Uh, that makes sense to me. He does. He belongs on the list because he gets to pay off a lot of people with those loans. Uh, Ohioans United for Reproductive Rights. That a hundred percent that that's a legit group. A woman has a right to kill his uh, kill her baby. Okay, so here's another thing. Um, so I was talking to some people who work in the medical industry, and so they're saying part of the whole, like, abortion, the case of a mother's life, is let's say a baby dies when it's inside the mother. I, it's, it's, it's sad, but, like, the baby dies in the womb. The procedure to remove the dead baby is considered an abortion. So they'll say, oh, X person had an abortion, and what it is is the baby died and they had to remove it. And it wasn't pretty because they had to remove a, a person from inside someone. And that they're like, that is the same thing. That's abortion in the case of a mother's life. But the, the baby's dead. Like, it's it's really sad, but I don't know. Andre Viermak. I think he is the... Barbaric invasion of Ukraine. They're a legitimate news thing. 
Uh, the message from Zelensky is not on this list. Uh, your Mac is, though. Okay. I, I'm sorry to hear that, Cornhorn. That's, that's, that's really sad. That's really sad. Um, uh, I, I'm sorry to hear that, man. If, if it's any comfort, I, I personally believe that, um, well, it's, it's extreme. Okay. So sorry if I'm getting just completely like off the, off topic, but I don't know. A, I don't think there's any chance that God allows, uh, the unbaptized babies to suffer. B, I think if there's a desire on the mother's part to baptize them, then that's the baptism of blood. But the idea that like unbaptized babies suffer is, is something that is extremely rare. Um, so I, I hope your, your child's doing well, uh, wherever they are. It's, but it's, it is sad that like, it's put that down for your wife and that they're going to, um, like they use her as an example of why you need to have legal abortion when it's not. Um, okay, who is this? Uh, paralyzable compute to deliver uh, graphic and gaming expenses. I admit I don't know who this person is, but they're probably important. Oh, okay. President of NVIDIA. Okay. Okay. I know, I know who, I didn't know the specific person, but yeah. Okay. No, I know who that is now. Um, Maya Rudolph. Apple TV. Everybody watches Apple TV. Okay. I, I have no idea who that is. Who are these people? The innovators. How is she an innovator? This is nominated by by Dark Side Brandon. Um, okay, the head of the um, uh, the UAW. So what, what's interesting with with this dude is he said like most of our union is going to be voting for Trump, but we're going to endorse Biden. Um, it is like what he said. Um, so I guess he's kind of important, but no, like he literally said, like, no, all the, all the, the unionized car workers are, um, are, are voting for Trump, but I'll, I'll say it's actually someone kind of important. So I'll put them on the list. Um, Uh, we have some rugby player. Um, okay, like, so truth be told, I'm not even in. My issue with unions is they don't, I don't think they really care about working people anymore. They don't care about their members. They care about, like, just promoting uh, G-Slur stuff. Like just random causes that have nothing to do with their members and giving money to pause shit and not getting better stuff for their, their members. That is my issue with unions. I I don't dislike the idea in practice. I just don't think it's, um, yeah. Okay, I don't know who this dude is. Who is this? Uh, immunologist with the National Institute of Health. Uh, in the U.S., they can be pretty bad. I don't know. Yeah, a lot of their causes because of politics are against the economic interests of their members. That's very true. Like, unions used to be very anti-immigration, for instance, because of the fact it has on wages. And now they're just, um, they're, a lot of them are pro-immigration. Uh, okay, so I don't know who this person is. But they say that her leadership and compassion, including championing women and people of color in science, has enormously benefited the scientific enterprise in all of us. I'm going to have to see some receipts on that one. 
Yanon Krees. Uh, a kite surfer. Is he the, the guy behind Barbie? An Israeli American! Imagine that. Another Israeli American. Raised in Israel. I guess that's important. I guess he's important, but once again. I, I'm i almost, like, tempted to go back through this and do a glow list. Like, what percentage of these people glow like the sun? Tory Burch. New York City fashion designer. I have no idea who she is. Once again, for any of these people who I don't know who they are, if someone wants to say, like, if they've heard of them in the chat, then, um, let's see. Wow! There we go! What a surprise! Um, that is, uh, that is another shocker. Uh, that is another, is Jewish on her mother's side? Well. Rachel Hardenman, who? Her anti-racism research has been, and a maternal health crisis, uplifting evidence-based solutions to address the root cause of racism in our health system. Uh, that's, uh, I think we're almost done. This is physically painful. Uh, okay, some geneticist guy. Oh no. Oh no. The entire cycle of a mouse saying he produced oscill using cells from male mice resulting resulting in pups born to two biological father um <clears throat> fathers. His work offers hope to those with infertil infertility problems or same sex couples who one day may wish to have biological children. Oh no. So he's, he's trying to, like, make these fucking human chimeras where they, they merge, like, multiple. Cells in, in male mice? I don't, I don't even fucking know. That's some, like, voodoo shit. Um, that's some voodoo shit. Uh, I guess he makes sense, though. He is kind of like uh, the Moses of our times. The best chefs, <clears throat> uh, okay, stop, okay, um, stop, it's, okay, some, some vegan chef, uh, Dave Ricks, I don't know who he is, but he looks, like, autistic in this, uh, Adobe, okay, so he's the head of Adobe, okay, that's, that's fair enough, I'll, I'll add him in, Connie Walker, Oh, okay. <clears throat> First assignment for her high school newspaper is a story about the murder of an indigenous woman by two white men. Uh, so. Oh, okay. It's Indian residential school. Um, once again, like, I just, I can't understand the attitude of your entire culture and identity being based around how much you suck like it's just it's 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 like if my entire identity was based on my um my mother's family getting kicked out of russia by the like anarchist uh rebels or whoever in ukraine during the um the russian revolution it would be like that it would be like if my entire thing was just based on, um, on that, like, and then I just never, well, I mean, to be fair, a lot of these people don't have anything to be proud of, but they have to, it's just the way they are. Julie Sweet. I 
don't know who that is. I, I don't know who that person is. Okay. Jonathan Anderson. <clears throat> okay. Who is this? Oh, is this another person who glows? I think it is. I think it's another person who glows. Um, some glowy in uh, Bangladesh. Pioneers. America Ferreira. Why is America Ferreira here? Who cares? America Ferreira is everything. She's everything. Okay, I guess. I guess. You know what? We're going to take another field trip because this is like actually making me physio. Let's see. Bush, human, animal. Okay. Serious problem. America is addicted to oil. Which addiction is through technology develop cleaner, cheaper, incredible advances. An increase in clean energy. To change how we power our home. Revolutionary solar and wind. How we power our home. To aggressively pursue the international communications. Prevent terrorist attack. People inside our country who are talking with Al-Qaeda, we want to know. As institutions of science and medicine. Here we go. A hopeful society has institutions of science and medicine that do not cut ethical corners and that recognize the matchless value of every life. Tonight, I ask you to pass legislation to prohibit the most egregious abuses of medical research, human cloning in all its forms, creating or implanting embryos for experiments, creating human-animal hybrids, and buying, selling, or patenting human embryos. Human life is a gift from our creator. Human animal hybrids. Okay, I can't even fucking take it. This is just Okay, let's let's look at the last. I'm not gonna go through all these people because I don't know who the fuck they are. It just I I just I I, I just I can't do it. I, I just I can't. I can't go through any more of these people. It's just it's just the worst. It physically hurts me. So we have no Xi Jinping. We have no Putin. We have no Lavrov. We have no Shoigu. We have no uh, no Victor Orban. Victor Orban is not on this list, despite literally like holding up the entirety of the EU. Donald Trump is not on this list. Biden isn't on this list. Well, I mean, Biden not being on this list makes sense because Biden is, well, Biden. He's just a, a complete no. No Kim Il Sun, no whoever the asshole is who currently leads Japan. Well, I mean that's another person who there's no real need should be on this list. So Abbott was the the right of center quota. Uh, yeah, like I don't mind that. Abbott is I think a really good is a pretty good governor. I uh, I don't have any issue with Abbott. Um, I I think honestly probably the best governor in um. America, I don't know. I think people are too are like mean to DeSantis now, and they don't acknowledge like how much good he did in Florida. Uh, so let's see how many people did I know. I knew about twenty or so, so I knew about uh twenty five. Okay, so exactly twenty five. So exactly. One quarter of this list is people that I knew. Uh, let's see. Who else is not on this list? Let me just look at... Uh, Christopher Nolan isn't on this list. Uh, okay, let's see. Christopher Nolan isn't on this list. Um, who directed Barbie? I don't even remember who directed it. Well, it's behind a paywall, so it doesn't really matter. 
Um, Marco Robbie isn't on the list. Uh, Cillian Murphy isn't on the list. Um, Vin Diesel isn't on the list. Uh, Tom Cruise. Keanu Reeves. That might have made sense. Um, Robert Downey Jr. Uh, Chris Pratt would never be on the list because Chris Pratt is a Chad. Um, so he would never be on this list. Uh, why can't the act? Why can't Shaggy be on this list? Why can't the actor who played Shaggy be on this list? He he deserves to be on it. Let's see what what's what's been big in two thousand four. I don't even know. Uh, Denis Villeneuve isn't on this list. Um, at least they didn't put what's her name that that bitch who played uh, Chaudy. Um, they should put Bill Murray on this list. The Mean Gills Girls remake. The First Omen, Civil War. Uh, let's see. I hope Civil War, War loses money. I know I paid to go see it, but you can show me for that. Okay, so it is made... Oh, okay, it's made, like, no money. Um, so that's good. I hope it loses money, to be honest. Uh, it'll probably make no money in red states. I'd be shocked if it made any money in red states. What the fuck is Troll Factory? A comment army through a report on online public opinion. Okay. So that was the, uh, that was the time list. It was actually a lot worse than I thought it was going to be. That was physically painful if I, like, I would say probably at least half of this list close are like feds or are connected to the feds or connected to the state department or connected to like somebody. Like how many people here do we have who were NGOs or like American backed opposition leaders or uh, I mean Malay he glows. I I I love Malay but he he glows like crazy. So That is uh that's about all I have for you today. Uh thank you very much everybody for um for enduring this with me.